see from this West Virginia offense? I think they're an efficient group. I think this is a uh, this group that can beat you in a lot of ways. They got a quarterback that can um, can beat you running it. He can beat you throwing it. Um, tremendous backs, great personnel up front, uh, skilled tight ends. Um, you know, uh, good receiving core. I um, mean, this is a, this is a really good offense, and um, and and you know we got to figure out how they're going to try to attack us. That's a that's the that's the key because they they have a lot of diversity in what they do also. Quarterback, you guys seen? I would say so. I would say, and, we, and we've placed we've played some pretty good, um, pretty good scrambling quarterback. Even last week was a great scrambling quarterback. The difference is, um, Garrett Green, when he decides to go, he's just going to go. He's not going to. He's not going to um, hesitate. Try to find some other option when he decides he's going to take off. He's going to take off uh, with the most uh, uh, decisiveness, probably of anybody that we play. So that's uh, that's going to be the challenge of, of keeping him uh, restrained in the run game. I think it's interesting that you guys have given up 300 passing yards to three different quarterbacks, but you guys have won all three of those games. When you look at those final numbers as the D coordinator. What what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, um, it, it it bothers me, but it, it, you know, at the same time, I think we're doing the right thing in in taking away uh, what needs to be taken away, and and um, that's Colorado's identity. And you're gonna drop back, and you're gonna throw it 60 times, um, you know. You're, you're going to get numbers. I mean, that's that's what it is. And and I, I think um, if you'd have talked to me at halftime, I would have said we were doing a pretty good job uh, in the past game. And in the in the in the second half, um, probably some technical things more than anything, just breaking down. Uh, we gave up some some bigger explosive plays. But um, you know, I, I don't I don't think we're um, I don't think we're necessarily doing anything wrong. I think we just got to be a little bit more uh, smooth when we do it. Two running backs who could not be, I think, more opposite in how they play or their the way they want to play. Yeah. Uh, how important is it to know, I guess, which running back is on the field and how much does that change? Different styles. I don't think it changes what they do. I think they they're comfortable running uh, with either one of those backs. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like our kind of like our attack here, Thunder and Lightning. And, and the other uh, the other running back is not uh, uh, he's not a small guy by any means. I think he's 197 pounds. He just he's just a, more of a a jump cut quick cut back, you know, type of a guy. And that's the, um, whereas uh, Donaldson's going to be more of a power downhill in your face guy and, and uh, great compliments to each other. Um, I think our guys will, will know who they're trying to tackle at all times for sure. Got to get a lot of bodies on those guys. Coach Riley said Willie Ancio is the most improved player on his side of the ball. Who is that for you on your side? Yeah, great question. Uh, uh, boy, there's a, there's a number of candidates there that, uh, you know, one guy that, that probably doesn't get a lot of attention um, but does a lot of things for us is Colby McAllister. You know, I think he does a lot of, uh, um, you know, he does a lot of, of, of dirty work, dirty roles, um, and, you know, doesn't get around the action much just because he's doing his job. You know, uh, the other probably more obvious answer uh, is Austin Romaine, you know, from what he, what he was a year ago. I think he's just in another stratosphere from the confidence level that he's been playing with this year as opposed to last. And, um you know, you, you make one more case up front is, is Damian Alalio. You know, I think Damian's playing at a really high level. He's a tough guy to move in there. And, and so those guys are, um, uh, you know, I think we're getting better. I, you know, I feel, I told the guys this on Monday, you know, I felt like last year we were kind of, um, <clears throat> there was a point in the year where we were pretty beat up and we kind of um, stagnated, I think, on defense. Uh, you know, I had a couple really good games in the middle of the year, a couple shutouts or whatever, and it was great. Um, and then it just kind of, you know, I, I feel like this group of guys, we're getting better all the time and at all three levels. And that's exciting. You know, I think our best stuff is still in front of us. I don't think we've even touched our, our capabilities yet. So it's, you know, hopefully we get a lot more names here for you in a couple of weeks. Are Marquise and Jacob on track to play this weekend? Yeah, we should have everybody available. Obviously got put in, I think, a pretty tough situation to come in mid-game and have to play as many snaps as he did. Yeah. What did you see from him in those? He's a competitor. He's a stud. Jayshon's going to be a really good football player. Uh, and we, we, we knew uh, during the course of the week that, that we wanted to play him in this game. Um, <clears throat> there wasn't a ton of, of, and not that he's not capable of doing it, but there wasn't a ton of shifts in motions, formations, you know, different things. Uh, you know, with our game plan, he was going to be playing a lot of man, and we feel like he can do that against anybody. And so we planned on using him. Now, we didn't plan on using him to the extent that we had to use him in the second half of the game. But uh, he had to play down on the goal line uh, that they didn't throw the ball uh, that that I don't know if we have too many guys that, that do what he did, he did. I mean, they tried to run a little pick play and he just smashed it. And he just 
Um, he's, he's really, really uh, attentive listener, and he's getting better, uh, and, and his role will increase this year.